Okay, today I'm going to be showing you what it looks like when you shine a strobe light on spinning fidget spinners. And then I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you spin a fidget spinner next to a projector. You get some awesome color separation, really neat. Okay, so this strobe light that I have here, I can adjust the speed on it. So what I'm going to try to do is spin the fidget spinner and if I can match it to its spin just right, if I can do it to a multiple of one revolution per blink or a multiple of three since these are matched, it should look like this fidget spinner is just standing still. Okay, so I've got this in low light here so you can actually see me spinning it. So you know that I'm spinning it. And then I'm gonna turn on the strobe light and you can see that it makes it look like it's stopping. And then I'm gonna try it with sticking a sticker on it and seeing if it looks like the sticker changes places or anything. Okay, let's give it a spin. Strobe light. See, and I can try to touch it. <laughs> okay, let's spin it again. That's cool. So I'm gonna stick my finger in there in, in the crack. See, and I can change the speed of it. When I do it faster, it makes it look like it's spinning faster. I'm gonna slow it down to try to match the revolutions per second. Right there. <laughs> That's cool. It's hard to tell when it's even stopped at all. See, that looks pretty matched. I'm gonna try to stick my finger in the center. Oh, right there. <laughs> That's weird. It's like I can't spin it. Okay, now I'm gonna put a sticker on it. Let's see if it looks like the sticker's changing places. Spin it. On the strobe light. <laughs> That's cool. Give it another spin. Staying in the same spot, but if I switch up the speed. <laughs> See, and it's spinning. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so I showed this strobe light effect to one of my nephews and he discovered something really cool while watching a movie on the projector. If you spin this while it's being illuminated by the projector, you can see red, green, and blue light being reflected off of the fidget spinner. So the only reason I can think of, of why this is happening is because maybe on a projector, the red, green, and blue light that make up the colors on the screen are actually flashing up at different times. And so you catch the red light, the green light, and the blue light at slightly different periods. And so it separates the red, green, and blue light as the fidget spinner spins. This is a really cool effect, that's awesome. Hey, thanks for watching again. If you haven't subscribed yet, remember to hit that subscribe button. And if you have any ideas that you want to see me do, you can comment in the comments section and I'll see you next time.